Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to continue the main quest, The Gathering Storm. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's make sure that there's no side quests real fast. Now we can come up over here and we'll go to Martha's Rest. What happened here? Come on, we need to find the others. If they hurt Martha, they'll have the old rest to answer We're to. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. The boys Let's get you to a physical, shall we? I'm sorry. Oh, I think I twisted something. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But to culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Oh, do you? Uh, I want to buy it, but I'm not going to. Take care out there, eh? Oi, look sharp! Hey. Eh? Maybe this isn't fog, but smoke. I'm gonna guess that it is fog, not smoke, because nothing seems to be on fire. If those Orsons touch an air on Martha's head. Oh, kill them all, boy. Look. Up ahead. Martha. Are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then, they may still be alive, Martha. Do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far. 
even for the Empire. Stay down! Grab this item. I have no clue why I press circle. Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. No. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bastards. Is that all of them? I think so. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. I wonder if there's a chest back here. Abbot. The bearers died protecting him, calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing.
We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The Cullings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg Sid's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Sid! Where are you? Sid! In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Just making sure there's no side quests. Okay, yeah, we already opened that chest. I just want to make sure that it didn't like respawn. But I'm pretty sure those are just one-offs. Oh, look at that. Oh, cool. We'll be able to craft new gear. Do you think it's spotted us, Torgal? What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a floating eyeball. Pretty tough. <laughs> 
Awesome. That was a fun fight. That wasn't too bad. 5,000 gil for that? Hell yes. He didn't see that coming. Clive with the puns, really? That must be the bridge. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Kind of want to buy that extra experience. We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. That extra experience uh, necklace is what I was meaning. What in the... No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh, you couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, 
They're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. Side quest. Let's do this side quest. Pretty sure there's a lot of side quests going on. Um, or maybe not. Just this one. Try not to move. You'll only make it worse. Oi! You there! Well, don't just pass me by! Are you handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. Bet you're a Bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travellers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. <sighs> All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw them cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry, you'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. I give those no good bastards a hiding from me. I have a feeling it's my chocobo from the beginning of the game, which is pretty awesome. Hopefully we'll be able to ride her. So I'm pretty sure it was a female that, um, well, a female chocobo that Clive had. Company. White heart. That's quite a name for a chocobo. Clive. Die. Over here. Yeah. I probably should have ran across- no, no. Actually, yeah, I should have ran across the bridge. Damn it, man. It's all right. You live and learn, right? A white feather. 
thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds... Looks like they went that way. I bet it is, Ambrosia. You're finished. Keep it up. Um kind of want to upgrade this. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade it. That'll max that out. And then my next one I'm going to do is right here. I don't know if I'll touch these at all. Maybe eventually. But I really like the fire stuff. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Piss off. Or better still, how about we hurt you both? All right, then. But don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> yeah. It's over. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're big. I'll take care of you in a minute, bud. One way to take care of them. You're safe now. White heart, I presume.
Do you know her, boy? That scar. It couldn't be. Ambrosia. It is you. You survived. And you found yourself a flock. Oi! He, he is it over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, are you sort of the bastards then? I knew you would. <laughs> And the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well, I... Um... Oh no, sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are. You done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <coughs> Told you. And it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old Whiteheart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. <laughs> you hear that, Whiteheart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Awesome. We have a Chocobo now.
Good girl. Faster. Just wanted to try it out. Let's go ahead and go over to the hideout and then we're going to end the video. Hopefully we don't hit a cut scene, but uh, let's head over to the hideout. Now, where's Gav? Okay, so this is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody Thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne. Signing off.